Cakesters, how YouTube hope your holidays have been so, 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 so good. Super excited to be back. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about how to look good, sis. Things that you can do to look better instantly. The reason why I say this is because it's the beginning of the new year and the new decade. We already know it's resolution season, honey, and it is the best time to work in fitness, okay? So, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you eight things that you can do that does not require any crazy dieting and does not require you to spend a single dollar, okay, on a gym membership that you may use once or twice. Yes, I'm going to be triggering a few people and never again and have to pay for it all year so you know before you make that i'm gonna be skinny in 2020 resolution which you should we should all be striving for better health let me share with you eight things that you can do right now sis just as you are all right the first thing you can do is look at your wardrobe and specifically look at your basics, okay? We'll go through all of your basics, your turtlenecks, your white t-shirts, your jeans, all of those things that you wear all of the time, right? And discard any of them that are starting to look like they're worn or you know, they've had better days, right? And this time when you're shopping for basics, rather than going for the cheapest, um, Really think about quality, longevity, so on and so forth. I've been advocating this for years. I will continue advocating. Spending a little bit more on your basics will help you to create a wardrobe and a look that looks better, period. AKA bougie, AKA you know like there's money in the bank, AKA not anybody can step up to you, okay? Um, of course, again, within your budget. So if the most you can spend on a t-shirt is $10, then spend $10, not five, okay? Because when you invest in your basics and when you care for them well, again, it just improves your overall look. Now, I've been thinking about doing a video on how to choose things that don't look cheap. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you would be interested in or not. Because I know like some people, like they're not sure, like how do, how do you know when something's cheap and when it's not? So let me know in the comments down below. Continuing on with basics, the next thing that you can do to look better is to do the same thing for your undergarments. So Look through all your undergarments, your bras, your underwear. What condition are they in? Is it time to re-up? You know, some people are like, oh, don't wear regular underwear, only wear thongs. I'm not sure I'm part of that team. Maybe I was part of that team in my 20s. Now I'm, uh, I'm part of the team what is comfortable, okay? So maybe if you're not a thong wearer, maybe think about investing in some more seamless pieces of underwear so they're not like distracting when you put together your outfit. But not just that, make sure you go to a proper bra fitting specialist. Make sure you get your right size, the right cup. When your undergarments fit right, they really help your clothes to sit better. So definitely make sure you're wearing the right undergarments. Now, continuing with your undergarments, you also may want to invest in shapewear. Again, when it comes to shapewear, you want to pick the kind of shapewear that works for your body, that you know helps you to accentuate what you've got and helps you to camouflage what you've got. You also wanna make sure you're buying the right size. And if you wanna know more on shapewear, I have two videos that I did on shapewear and I'll be sure to link them for you down below. So the next thing is learning how to accentuate your assets, right? In order for you to be able to do that, you need to know what your body type is. So comment for me down below what your body type is. If you do not know what your body type is, that is the first thing you need to learn, okay? If you're wanting to look 
better. You need to know where your assets are. If you have great legs, your legs turn to be slim, then definitely you want to put together looks that highlight your legs. If you have a great waist, you have a really small itsy bitsy waist, then totally you're looking for wrap dresses, you're looking for pieces that involve belts and styles like that that help bring the eye to your waist. If your bosom, if you're amply blessed in the bosom area, please don't see it as a con, see it as a blessing. Know how to highlight your asset and of course how to camouflage the things you don't want others to notice okay it's a it's a it's a it's a trick it's an illusion okay it's kind of like with kids you know when you want a kid to stop doing something you don't want them to do give them something else redirect their attention if we haven't met yet my name is Chi Chi and I am the blogger behind suppleshe.com and suppleshe TV here on YouTube where we cover fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that seems like something you're into then stick around and if you like what you see make sure to subscribe the button is right below. All right. The next thing you have to know about is balance and proportions. You don't want to wear like a baggy top and a baggy bottom. You need to also pair items together that their proportions work well together. You need to know that when you wear something that's loose and flowing up top, you should probably wear something that's a little bit fitted on the bottom and vice versa, right? Okay. You also need to know how colors work getting ready, right? You need to know what colors work best for you. Like I have learned through the internet that mustard is my color, orange is my color. Those two colors always pop on my skin, okay? And so I try to incorporate a lot more of mustard, a lot more of orange into my wardrobe. I pr pretty much at this point have a whole section de dedicated to mustard, okay? So you need to know what colors work best for you. You need to also know how to balance your colors, right? I I wouldn't wear green, red, purple, and blue together in one outfit. So you need to know, you need to kind of have like a color palette when you're getting dressed um, that works together. And you don't want to wear like 800 different prints that are clashing. Now continuing on with proportion, fit. Fit is just as important as proportion and balance because you need to buy the right size, okay? This is one of the biggest problems in the plus size community, in the curvy community. It's either I see clothes that are too tight or too baggy, and I have been victim of this as well. But you know when you see that dress, okay, in that store that does not carry your size, and you go into the fitting room and you try it on and you just barely fit in it. So you decided to buy it, and then when you get home, you realize that you were having a skinny day that day and you're popping out everywhere, but you still choose to wear it. Sis, one of the number one things you can do against yourself is to wear clothes that are too tight or too baggy. Now, on the other hand, I know there's some girls who maybe have gained some weight and they're feeling really bad about themselves or they don't have the best self-esteem, so their idea is to wear black and make it baggy. That also, does you no favors, okay? So you really need to make sure that whatever you're wearing is tailored to fit you. Now it can be difficult if you're on the extreme, for example, if you're really short or you're really tall, or maybe you have like a, a more exaggerated body type, like you maybe have like a triangle shape where your shoulders are really broad and your, your, your hips are really slim, or the vice versa, where your shoulders are really small and your hips are really wide. It, might be, it can be a little tricky when you fall in those, you know, um, categories categories but if indeed you do then your best friend is going to be a tailor is either you learn to hem things for yourself especially if you're like on the petite side honey just get yourself like a hundred dollar sewing machine from Target okay watch a couple of videos on YouTube and you should be able to learn how to teach yourself how to hem pants okay that hem cuffs simple things like that because you know, those tailoring bills do rack up. Now, if you're if you're if yours is more of a shape issue, then I unless you're you're willing to invest in more advanced classes, um I would definitely get myself a tailor who is my friend, who can help you take in a blazer, let out a blazer, so on and so forth. But make sure you're buying your right size, okay? No.
if things are popping out, it's not the right size. If you gotta wear shapewear to fit in it, it's not the right size. Okay? It's being real. If you gotta wear shapewear that's two times smaller than you, it's not the right size. Leave it alone. It does you no favors at all. At all. So the next thing you can do to help yourself look better, sis, is grooming. I feel like we don't have, you know, in this community, a lot of us are pretty good at grooming ourselves, but a lot of us aren't. Especially, I get it, if you're a busy mom, a new mom, you know, you probably don't have the time that you used to to spend pampering and primping yourself. But they're hacks, sis. They are hacks to help you look your very best, okay, without spending as much time as you used to. My number one hack is wigs, okay? When it comes to hair, my number one hack is not just wigs, but synthetic wigs. And the reason why I say synthetic wigs is because you never have to curl a synthetic wig, okay? For the longevity of that wig, whatever curl that came with that wig will stay on that wig. So all you have to do is take it out of the box, cut up the lace, if it has lace, and put it on your head. That's it. Now I do customize my wigs a little bit here and there to make them suit my face. Let me cut it, things like that. But get yourself two or three or four good synthetic wigs, okay? It will save you so much time. Because facts are, okay, if your hair is not done, you're not done. Especially, I feel like for black women, that's so true. Like, the next thing that you need to also keep up with when it comes to grooming are your nails. I say this as my nails are looking quite crazy right now, but that's because I decided to do gel. And honestly, my life used to revolve around going to my nail girl and getting my gel redone. Doing my own nails just doesn't work for me. It just takes me way too much time for nails that will chip in like two days until I rediscovered y'all. Can y'all see this? Fake nails, okay? Press on nails, clip on nails, whatever you call these nails, these nails have changed my life. I don't have to wait for a nail appointment. If I have to do a shoot real quick and my nails are jacked up, it's an easy fix. They don't chip like regular nail polish. Girl. That is the grooming hack for me of 2019, okay? Get yourself a bunch of these. If you go to Target or Walgreens or any of these and you see these nails on sale, just get just stock up. Just, just get yourself a bunch and just keep them around the house for when you need to look cute quickly, okay? You could be ready for date night in like 15 minutes if you have mastered your five minute face, okay? You got yourself a wig and you got yourself some press on nails. All right, so definitely learn some grooming hacks that will help you streamline and simplify your getting ready process. And the last thing that will make you look your absolute best is confidence. There is nothing that will make you look better than your confidence, okay? Being confident in what you bring to the table, okay? If you don't look like the Instagram baddies that went to the Dominican Republic to remove a rib, that's okay. What do you have to bring to the table? Is it your killer mac and cheese? Is it your PhD? Is it your business acumen? The fact that you have three or four thriving businesses? It is your, is it your beautiful children, you know, that have straight A's at school? Is it your stretch marks from, you know, birthing a baby? What is it? Is it your glorious melanated skin? Find something, sis, to be confident in. You, the fact that you woke up, that you are breathing unassisted, that's enough to be confident. I know in the plus size community, a lot of us struggle with confidence because we don't look like society's vision of beauty. But no matter what you look like, okay, you know, even if you're missing limbs, even if you are scarred in the face, beauty comes from the inside. Confidence comes from the inside, okay? Be confident. 50 pounds heavier, 20 pounds lighter, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. 
As long as you are alive today, you can articulate yourself. You have more than enough to be confident about. Let me know again in the comments what your top tips are for looking better. Don't forget to read my blog. And if you like this video, share it with a friend. It means so much to me. Definitely let's continue that conversation down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. This is where I say until next time, stay blessed. I want you to stay blessed, but I don't want you to go. So make sure you click open that description box and check out some of my playlists, okay? If you're looking for outfit and inspo and style ideas. I have a fall and winter playlist right down there for you. I've got a couple of hauls. If you're looking for what to spend that Christmas money on, definitely check them down below. In a few seconds, YouTube will suggest a few videos of mine that you will like because she's good like that. You know, she's good like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't, I never know how to end now because I don't want to say until next time because I don't want you to go. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Bye.